The stole that I wear is a symbol of my ability to represent, in this case, be in the presence where God would stand to bless this marriage. And what is customary is for me to take my stole, which is a symbol of my authority and God's authority. You have heard of tying the knot? This is where it comes from. As God's chosen ones, holy and beloved, clothe yourselves with compassion, kindness, humility, meekness, and patience. Bear with one another, and if anyone has a complaint against another, forgive each other. Just as the Lord has forgiven you, so you also must forgive. Above all, clothe yourselves with love, which binds everything together in perfect harmony. It is not good that the man should be alone. Let us make a helper for him like himself. I now am taking this kinswoman of mine, not because of lust, but with sincerity. Grant that she and I may find mercy and that we may grow old together. In the name of God, I, Timothy. I, Hannah. Take you, Hannah, to be my wife. Take you, Timothy, to be my husband. To have and to hold. From this day forward. For better or for worse. For rich or for poor. In sickness and in health. To love and to cherish. Until we are parted by death. This is my solemn vow. Now that Timothy and Hannah have, been, have given themselves to each other by solemn vows, and with the joining of hands and the giving and receiving of rings, I pronounce that they are husband and wife, in the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Ladies and gentlemen, I now pronounce you husband and wife. You may kiss your bride. She loved art and making things. Even as young as six, she would join me in my workshop with her own little projects. The time went by too fast, and Hannah is now a beautiful young bride. Nini would be beside herself with how beautiful you are. And Granddaddy is grinning ear to ear at his little squirt. And Tim, you have become part of our family. You're our family car guy now, and we call you if we have a car issue. And you're our animal whisperer, because every animal in the family loves Tim. Now, Tim, you can show her how important a husband's love is. So when I look at the two of you now, I see more than my daughter and new son. I see two people who are a perfect match for each other. Together, I believe the two of you will accomplish great things, and we're all extremely happy for you. Tim, I'm so happy to have met you. You are so kind, genuine, funny. I couldn't imagine a better match for Hannah. You two balance each other out so perfectly. The love you two have for each other is inspiring, and I can't wait to watch you grow and see the future that you two build together. Over the years, I also got to see how special his and Hannah's relationship is, and how they do the same for each other, and bringing out their best qualities. One of my favorite memories I shared with Hannah and Tim is when we were all canoeing at King's Landing together. AP and I were crushing beers while Tim only had one because he was being the responsible one. As always. <laughs> After begging Tim to drink another beer, Hannah stepped in and egged Tim on and he finally gave in. <laughs> Tim is so supportive and caring, as we all know. And I'm so glad he found Hannah to help him open up more and enjoy the sweet life they're going to create together. Here's to Tim and Hannah. We wish you nothing but the best on this new chapter in life together. Cheers. <laughs>